It's cold out, huh, Raylan? Would you rather be here or outside in the cold with those crazy people? And now it's raining. Reminds me of God's grace just falling down on us. I'm saying it's a nice day. Chris says, no, it's really not a nice day. He says, it's cold out here. It's in the 40s. It's sunny. It's not that breezy. I think it's pretty out, especially if you're walking. And you want us to exercise more? Yeah. And get in shape? Yeah. But you think this is a bad day to do it? It's cold. Are it's you cold shivering? Out. Raylan's shivering. How you doing, Raylan? She's not shivering. She looks pretty fine with it. <laughs> She's got a nice fluffy blanket. Hey, you you tell us, is 40 degrees cold? It's like 44. <laughs> it's and so sunny. Cold. 44, sunny. A tad windy. And we really need to exercise bad. I think it's so cold out that if I put this on the channel, people are going to say, get that girl back in the warm house. Raylan likes it. Raylan's neurologist says we should take her out every day, no matter what the weather. I'm like, uh, no. Really? The sleep neurologist. Sleep psychologist, sorry. Sleep psychologist is like, bundle her up and get her outside every day. Really? Yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah, probably not. Why do they say that even on cold days? Yeah, to help with circadian rhythm. Interesting. I tell nurses if it's 60 or warmer, I would like them to take her outside. Yeah. So yeah, 60 is not freezing cold. That's okay. 40, 40 degrees is cold. But it's tolerable. Just a short walk. I think Raylan agrees with me now. It's cold out, huh, Raylan? Yeah. Are you shivering? Yeah. Okay, me and you're gonna turn around. They kept on walking, because they don't think it's that cold. Actually, Amber and Corey think it's cold, but mom doesn't, so they're all walking to the creek. We're gonna turn around. Okay, let's go back home. Isn't that so relaxing? So beautiful. This is walking distance from our house. Favorite spot for the big kids to come and hang out. <sighs> Back in a warm house, Raylan. What you think, Raylan? Back in our warm house. Where would you rather be? <laughs> would you rather be here or outside in the cold with those crazy people? <sighs> I'd rather be in here. <laughs> Are you warming up? Are you warming up now, Raylan? <laughs> I'm warming up. So much nicer in the house, huh? We got a quiet house right now. Everybody else is gone. So quiet. We need to put something on this wall. What do you suggest? We're thinking like a big picture of some kind. I don't know. Maybe, oh, I need to show you something. You might remember, if you've been watching our channel for a while, that we went to, it was called the Beyond Van Gogh Experience. And, and Raylan really loved it. I mean, it was like Van Gogh's paintings all around, beautiful, animated, bright colors, all that stuff. Um, because of that, we really started liking Van Gogh a lot in just his paintings in general and his story. So, uh, for a Christmas present, we got this puzzle. It's, of course, his most famous one, Starry Night, and we are in the process of putting it together. <laughs> it's taken us a while. <laughs> it's not exactly an easy puzzle to put together because so many of the pieces look the same. The, the, that blue and yellow and sometimes white brush strokes and things, but... Uh, we're slowly getting it together, and I think maybe by next Christmas we might have it done. <laughs> but we're thinking about putting it on that wall right there. What do you think? Is that a good spot for it? <laughs> I think so. Then we can remember our Beyond Van Gogh experience all the time. It was a lot of fun, wasn't it? You liked that. You were smiling during it. It was so much fun. Yeah. I think we'll put it right there. Maybe I'll poof it right there. <laughs> that way we can get an idea of what it's gonna look like. Probably won't be that big. <laughs> and now it's raining. <laughs> I actually really like the rain. Reminds me of God's grace just falling down on us. It's beautiful. And Raylan actually likes the rain too, but um, I don't think she likes getting soaking wet. <laughs> she likes hearing the rain pound down on things. It, it, you know what I mean? Like if she's in a, if she's in the house or if she's in, um, not, not so much the house, if she's in like a, 
enclosed space. Like, she, you can hear the, the rain falling down on things. You know what I mean? So we're thinking about getting her this, like, wheelchair bubble thing. <laughs> Have you seen this thing? But it basically, it, it encloses the wheelchair so that it shields the person in the wheelchair from the elements. Uh, and that would help both Raylan with the rain and also Raylan with the sun. You know, like, a lot of times we'll put a hat on her, but then the hat kind of covers her eyes, too, and... Um, she can't see around and we can't see her very well. So, but in the bubble, she would basically have a, a, a plastic shield. Um, I'll, I'll just show a picture of it. Here it is. <laughs> so yeah, I, we're thinking about getting this thing. They're like a hundred bucks or so, uh, which isn't horrible, but her birthday's coming up. So we're thinking about doing that. Oh, speaking of her birthday, um, I asked this of our members recently, but I want to ask you guys too. We need to do something special for Raylan's birthday. Her birthday is coming up. It's on April 20th. And we've thought about various things. We thought about um, putting together a, a Dropbox that you guys can submit videos to Raylan so that I can put together a video and show that to Raylan on her birthday. That would be really cool. We've thought about doing like a taste test kind of thing again. Of course, she's done that kind of thing before, but sometimes she likes taste tests, sometimes she doesn't. But that would be fun, like with ice cream or cakes, those kinds of things. What else do we think about? I don't know. What ideas do you have? Do you have any ideas how we can make Redland's birthday special, specifically with interaction for her YouTube channel? I'd really love to be able to have some of you involved in her birthday somehow, so let me know. Uh, also, uh, once again, I'm trying to get 20,000 subscribers this year, so if this video is inspiring to you, hopeful to you, if it made you smile in some way, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit subscribe, please. That would help me tremendously. It took us two years to get 10,000 subscribers. I'm really hoping to get 20,000 subscribers this year, so. It's kind of a big task, <laughs> but I think we can do it. Uh, there's always hope, right? <laughs> in college, I used to actually walk out in the rain just because, not going anywhere, just because I like the rain. But if Raylan were to get that bubble, then not even rain would stop us when going for walks. <laughs> of course, I probably need an umbrella too, right? I think I might have an umbrella in there. I'll go check. Let's see. I think the only umbrella we have is this one that we used to use for her wheelchair, which works pretty good for her, but the connector that connects it to her wheelchair always breaks. So that's why we're trying to think of new solutions. But it looks like I do not, oh, what is this? Here we go. Yes, I have an umbrella. So yes, depending on how big that umbrella is, I have an umbrella and as soon as we get that bubble thing for Raylan, <laughs> we can take her on walks even on days like this when it is raining. It is pouring cats and dogs out here. I don't know if you can see that or not. <laughs> Maybe you can hear it. Um, but I love these rainy days. I think they're beautiful. A lot of people don't like rainy days because they seem dreary and hopeless, but I think even on the hopeless days, there's always hope, right? God bless you. We'll see you again next time.